I'm a little bit apprehensive about getting bitten by a woman that I've never met and I feel like I, I don't want to walk into a Fifty Shades of Grey scene. Take off your top. Hi, I'm Alina Pagosian. I'm a wrestler and that usually consists of me bumping around and getting knocked down. So, I usually try to do one deep tissue massage a month. I heard about Dr. Dot and she has this thing called the bite massage. You would think that I like pain because I get bumped around so much and I get hit, but not this kind of pain and not by someone I don't know, if that makes any sense. I don't know what to expect. I heard about her and she said, when a client is laying naked in front of me, they better be nice to me or else. I don't know what that or else means, so I'm gonna be as nice as I can. The idea of someone pulling my hair and biting my back, I don't know how I'm gonna to react to that. I am extremely nervous. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you, I'm Hi, Elena. Nice to meet you, I'm Dr. Dot. You wanna come in? Yeah. So what does the bite massage consist of? Is that usually extra? A lot of biting. Well, <laughs> but is it usually extra? Do you call, do you, add an additional cost if they no, want that? No, no. No, I start out the massage with that before I put all the messy creams and oils on it. Do you wipe them down? No. You don't wipe your clients down? No. Don't you get grossed out? No. If you are grossed out, you should not be a massage therapist. I've seen it all and smelled it all. I am a little bit nervous about the bite massage because I don't... It's a different technique, so... <laughs> no, I'm open to it. You'll get over it. Yeah. It feels good. So, there this you go. It. Take off your top, face down, and uh, I'll be right with you. Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> so, you ready? Yep. Don't be afraid. I started doing this when I was five years old with my mom because she wanted me to massage her, but my hands weren't strong enough, so she just kept saying, bite me, bite me. So I've been doing this my whole life. It sounds strange and unconventional, but it's to die for. Okay. Okay? Hopefully I'll die. It won't hurt, don't worry. Okay. Oh, it feels good. I told ya. What does it feel like? Like someone biting your back. <laughs> There's literally no other way to explain it, but it feels really good. Sometimes I do people's buttocks. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kinda tickles. Have you ever had a client though that said, can you make it more sensual? Or... Oh, they always ask that, but you know. Not my style. Courtney Love wanted it like that. What celebs have you bitten? Sting, uh, David Bowie. Uh, who else? Oh, she's everybody. Oasis, who got their first massage ever from me, by the way. Stone Roses, Keith Richards. Simon Cowell loved the bite massage. Mm -hmm. The reason why my clients are mostly celebrities is a simple reason. I wanted to get in free to see concerts when I was little. I wanted to meet the people on stage who write the lyrics that I hold so close to my heart. And therefore I thought, hmm, I'm very good at massages, so how about if I try to barter? It's just, it's all about the music for me. I wanted to get in to see the shows for free. Have you ever gotten anyone that gets aroused from it? Some people get aroused, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a normal body function. It's a normal bodily function, you know. Women get erect nipples, men get erect willies. Yeah, but I don't talk about it. I don't go, wow, you just pitched a big tent. <laughs> Let's go. I just ignore it. Or sometimes I'll throw like extra towels on it. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, boom, slam it down. That's just part of the thing. I mean, it's, you cannot be shocked by erections, erect nipples, smell, um, nasty scars, um, nasty sounds. You cannot be in this business of massage and body work. Because I run the world's largest body work company. We deliver and nobody has as many employees as I do worldwide. You can't be shocked by that stuff. At the end of the massage, I do the scalp. And it relieves a lot of tension. Feels good, right? Mm -hmm. To end it, I grab people's hair and I give it a tug. It hurts for a second, then it feels good. And by doing that, it increases blood flow and blood circulation, which increases hair growth. So, 
stimulating your scalp is a good thing. It will help your hair grow. This feels good, right? It's almost like getting the shit beat out of you when you come to me. But well, you feel good not. after, you yeah. know? Like people have stressful lives. So no pain, no gain. I mean, it's really the truth. Thank you so much. It was very nice meeting you. I'll never forget this experience because it's not every day that I have a woman biting my back or my neck or playing with my feet or biting my butt. That was what topped it off, a woman biting my butt. I would recommend this to my wrestling friends. I think half of the men would come because it's a hot girl biting them. But if they really want something therapeutic, she's really good at it. So of course I would, I would definitely recommend it.